Guess what time it is? It's drone time. So this is a new kind of drone. The drones that I've flown up until this moment have been focused on stability, predictability, reliability, you know, so that you don't crash into things while you're getting professional photos and videos. This one is all about agility. Crashing into things while you get photos and videos. It's gonna be awesome. Racing, drone racing, that's what I'm talking about. Dad, it's no time for work. We have to unpack the drone, come on. Trying to be patient, waiting for Dad to be ready to unpack the drone stuff. I want him to see some of it. Join the aerial revolution. I just, I just wanna. <laughs> He's gonna take us up one. I'm gonna unpack the charger, right? We got some batteries here. These are the racing ones. They're 1300 milliamps, but they're four cells, so they're 16 volts. Okay. 14 volts? Sorry. Then these are the 1600 milliamp ones that last okay. a little longer. They're only three cells, which means they're 11 volts. Then we have props. These are like the Those medium props. range props between torque and thrust and top speed. Right, so these are happy medium. Then you have these, which have a huge top speed. Okay. Uh, they don't have as much torque, not nearly as much pitch. Okay. And then you have these guys, which have a ton, a ton of pitch, which means that they're very high torque, which means if you want to change direction really fast, you can do that. Yeah. So, that's cool. Then we have this, which is the charger. And here is the extra battery for, and here is the extra, not extra, but remote radio thing for Oops. this guy, which okay. is the VR goggles. It's like an IMAX size screen in front of your face. Okay, okay. That's great. This is the prop wrench for those guys. This is the nine channel adapter for the Tango FPV remote, which is a remote that has a screen on it. So as I'm plugged in, other people can watch on my remote what it looks like. That's cool. And then this is the Vortex 250 Pro, which is like a pre-made racing kit, which means that it's easy to repair and there are a bunch of pre-made controls for the controller and it's easy to adjust and fly and you can strap a GoPro to it. Yeah, it's super okay, exciting. Mm -hmm. and, and these are the... I'm really sure what these are, to be honest. Just a bunch of straps. And then here's an extra little radio. Okay, I have everything set up. It's amazing looking. I'm really excited about it. Batteries are charging, headsets on. Everything's awesome. I just have no clue how to pair anything. <gasps> I've been trying to get it to pair for the last hour. It's dark. On the bright side, all my batteries will be charged. So, I'm just so sad. Okay, so I gave up on trying to set up the drone. It's old news. I'll just go to the store again tomorrow. Something is not working. Anyway, we came up with the need to measure the angle corner of the corner. Of our, we have an octagonal house. Yes. Dad's getting like a new TV. He wanted to measure how we're putting it in. There's an app that uses the gyroscope in your phone to measure which Angles. direction and how much you've turned. You and it, measure... it knows just from the gyroscope inside the phone. That's what gyroscopes You see the middle number? It says zero now, and negative zero, and now it says <laughs> Welcome to 15. Zeros. Isn't that cool? <laughs> negative zero. And here we go. Represent a sine zero. Right now we're, oh, I didn't reset it, hold on. Now put right the corner now, in the corner before you pivot it. Right now you see it says zero. There you go, that way you'll get a better pivot. Yeah, so we start. Look at that, 43 degrees every time. So precise, that's great. Here's our diagram about where you should put the TV. We're trying to calculate an eye height and where this, how, because the screen's going to go two feet back because it's no longer a big screen. It'll be mounted on the wall. It's small one, so there's yeah, just so lots of stuff. All sorts there. of complicated it's, stuff. We're fun. We're fun. Okay, I have to go get dinner. My dad yeah. wanted me to just point Say out the fact that, that we have frogs in our house. He's very proud of we the frogs. Like frogs. Do we have frogs yeah. upstairs still, too? I was hoping this was going to be a video about how cool the drone is or what was going to be. It isn't, though. So, um, I guess this is the end of it. Thank you for watching me fail to set up the drone. The remote wouldn't pair. I will try to fix it tomorrow. Um, I'm going to eat this Taco Bell that I'm not happy about having bought, or not proud of, rather, but actually quite happy about, and watch some YouTube videos on this very futuristic setup that has the iPad screen right in front of my eyes without my having to hold it. It's a silly time. Also, I know it looks like it's a little close, but it's actually like awesome because it's like IMAX sized. So yeah, that's uh, that's all I'm doing. What are you up to? Leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.